Not all hand gestures are emblems. You'll notice that occasionally I wave my hands around while I'm talking. If you turn the sound down on my voice, this would mean nothing in its own right. My hand gestures actually don't say anything. Their job, partly, is to amplify the message to a big audience or to communicate how I'm feeling about what I'm saying. These things are called illustrators, and in some cultures, they're much bigger on this than others. People catalog these things. They've got dictionaries of these illustrators. This is called the hand purse. This is the air grasp. All these things tend to be things that people do in big speeches when they're trying to communicate a particular passion and intensity about stuff. There's the finger stab when you're talking to someone. Try not to do that. This is something that men do more than women. The finger stab, of course, communicates that you're in a massively high-powered role there and that you're angry. I remember seeing this discussion between someone who I presume was the owner of the cafe and someone who was a waitress at the cafe. I couldn't hear what they were saying, but it was pretty obvious. It was animated. The two things that really stood out was that as he was talking to her, he was holding her by the arm. He was touching her. This is something that people with power over other people do. He was also doing the finger stab as he was talking. Now, this is the nonverbal equivalent of screaming at someone. It's very powerful. Illustrators can also be something you can use to help you speak more fluently. I don't know if you've ever done this task where you have to sit on your hands and stay really still while you tell a complicated anecdote or a complicated story. You're trying to explain something. What you find is that it's just a little bit harder to communicate what you're trying to say if you can't wiggle about and move. On some unconscious level, the hand gestures are ways of organising your thinking as well, which is presumably why we still do it if we're talking on the phone. No one can see all the hand waving, but you're still doing it to yourself. It just helps you.